What's next what? on the agenda? Um, well, whether you agree with it or not, I don't know. Um, but I say at the moment we're in uh, Bund Hill Cemetery. You'd have to look up the history of this place uh, if you want to find out about it because uh, it's all new to us and we're not very good at explaining things anyway. Um, but there's certainly um, some notable people buried over here. Um, it's got a lovely sort of um, peaceful, tranquil, tranquil setting to be honest. It's just absolutely yes. lovely. Um, it's just the time of year, I mean, just so fresh out at the moment. You know, we're going to have a look um, around around here, and then. I'm getting thirsty. Well, I, I did promise to take it to a watering hole as soon as we got off the train. Uh, two hours further down the line, we still haven't had a drink yet. Um, <laughs> so look, we're going to finish here now, and then I'm just going to drag him uh, over the road there to the uh, Wesley Chapel. Have a look in there, because uh, you never know what you're going to find, do you? Um, you don't have to be sort of uh, into religion to appreciate things. Um, just, what well, I say, just go and have a look. It's just, anyway, we'll find out what's inside when, when, when we go over there. So, when I've done that, I'll say, I'm going to pacify the old boy, or the young man, um, <laughs> and find a pub. Before we go, we did look at a couple um, before we actually got over here. Um, we shut. But they don't open till 12, yeah. Um, so um, we're, 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 what's the time now? We've gone 12 oh. now. Oh, we haven't done that bad. It's only half past 12 now, so we haven't done that bad. Um, so anyway, I say I'll drag him over, um, get a point, and then um, we're not quite sure where we're gonna go with him. Um, I have suggested the Ken again. Um, we're gonna make our way down to St Dunstan's, but um, there's a bit, bit further over that way down by Tower Hill. So um, we'll see, um, well, our time permits and our legs permit. Right, you ready on that then, Ken? I'm ready. Yeah. Let's, I'm ready. Um, let's go to the, um, the desk. That, take, that, <laughs> that takes you to the, to the pub. I don't copy people. <laughs> this takes yes. me to the pub. <laughs> yeah. Natural instinct. Rightio, let's go. Yeah. Bunhill Fields is a former burial ground in central London in the London borough of Islington, just north of the City of London. What remains is about 1.6 hectares, 4.0 acres, in extent, and the bulk of the site is a public garden maintained by the City of London Corporation. It was first in devoted use as a burial ground from 1665 until 1854, in which period approximately 123,000 interments were estimated to have taken place. Over 2,000 monuments remain, for the most part in concentrated blocks. It was a prototype of land use protected, non-denominational grounds and was particularly favoured by non-conformists who passed their final years in the region. It contains the graves of many notable people, including John Bunyan, died 1688, author of The Pilgrim's Progress, Daniel Defoe, died 1731, author of Robinson Crusoe, William Blake, died 1827. Artist, poet and mystic, Susanna Wesley, died 1742, known as the mother of Methodism, through her education of science. I, um, I thought you said just over there you got a, um, a good good hooter for a pub. Yeah. So why would, you, why would you head in that way? I weren't. You've seen yeah. things. It's like, his <laughs> nose is like a twitching stick, right? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it smells out beer. Um, unfortunately, his eyesight's not as good as his nose, because just over there, I've yeah. just spotted myself, so I'm going to take all credit, is the pub. So let's get over there and have a drink. See? I'm going to follow him. Well, it ain't that far, is it, Hems? Right, no, off I'm we go. Off you we go. Here. Come on, Ken. Right. Right, we're just by the uh, artillery arms. So, uh, looking for a well-deserved well point. Right, here we go. We're here. <laughs> well, is it open after all that? Right, as usual, Ken. Cheers. 
I thought they did it before he had his drink. Cheers, John. Oh, I've been sweating now. Very nice as well. So, what's their plan? Could I leave here? Um, yeah, good idea, Ken. I'm bleeding sweat myself here. Cut the eggs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll find a bus stop, dearest bus stop, work out a route, and then try and get down to uh, St Dunstan's, is it? Dunstan's? St Dunstan's? Dunstan's? Anywhere you like. It's the. Uh, yeah. You must be Another right. one we've been to before, but uh, not for for quite a while, and it's just you somewhere must to be go. Right. Well, I wasn't right the, when we started the day off, was I? It's supposed to be a five minute walk, it turned out to be half hour. Yeah, exactly anyway, so, uh, right, cheers everybody. Cheers. Till we get on to the next next port of call. Yeah, I've got to work the route out yet. Dunstan in the East was a Church of England parish church on St Dunstan's Hill, halfway between London Bridge and the Tower of London in the City of London. The church was largely destroyed in the Second World War, and the ruins are now a public garden. The church was originally built around 1100, and was rebuilt in the 14th century. It was again rebuilt after the Great Fire of London in 1666 by Christopher Wren. The church was badly damaged in the Blitz of 1941, and was declared redundant in 1967. The ruins were turned into a public garden in 1970. The garden is a popular spot for visitors to the City of London. It is a peaceful oasis in the midst of the hustle and bustle of the city. The garden is also home to a variety of plants and trees, including a large cedar of Lebanon. St Dunstan in the east is a Grade 1 listed building. It is a reminder of the rich history of the City of London and its resilience in the face of adversity. Here are some additional details about the church and the garden. The church was dedicated to St Dunstan, a 10th century monk who was the Archbishop of Canterbury from 959 to 988. The church was a popular pilgrimage site in the Middle Ages. The church was used as a model for Wren's other churches, including St Paul's Cathedral. The garden was designed by the City of London Architects and Parks Departments in 1971. The garden won a Landscape Heritage Award in 1976. If you are visiting the City of London, I recommend taking a walk through St Dunstan in the East Church Garden. It is a peaceful and beautiful place to relax and escape the hustle and bustle of the city. Well, um, what better place to round off our day out than um, where we are at the moment? So we are uh, now going to, yes, we, well, yes, that's where we're going to finish up. So we make our way back to Hammond Hall, 
uh, which is right on Liverpool Street Station, so we just watch, watch the times of the train, have a drink, sit down, relax, wait for the, the train to come in, and then it's just a, a, a 30 second dash to get to the train, perfect timing. So that rounds it up for another uh, little week for us, one of their little day outings. And um, can't speak for Ken, but I think he's going to go with the vote. That's been thoroughly enjoyable, actually. Even better than that. Even, as we always say, seriously, it's very rare we actually come out with something in mind. We just make it up as we go along, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, that's the end of another video, so I hope you all enjoyed it. If you've seen some of these places and you want to visit, come along and see it for yourself. You won't be disappointed. Right, Ken, that's it. We're on the way yeah. back and um, going to have a point at the hammock, mate. Just around, around the bay of height. Ken just um, sussed out the other pub, so we're going to hit where the spoon's on the head, make a nice change. And, uh, go on then, hurry up.